Secretary DeWilliams and the rest of um, some other people, we're going to do a SWOT analysis. We're going to talk about the strengths of East Cleveland, the strengths of East Cleveland like Euclid, the strengths of East Cleveland like your parks, things like that. And then we're going to talk about the strengths of Cleveland. That's how we can share resources, or if we do have to merge later on. Then we'll talk about the weaknesses, the weaknesses going to a four-day work week or whatever the case may be. The weaknesses, how can Cleveland, how can get their truck holes fixed? So we'll talk about these things. Then the next, the next uh, uh, focus that we'll focus on is the opportunities, our opportunities to work together as a group and to work together as people. Then after we do the SWOT analysis, then we'll talk about the trends. Because this isn't the first time that cities have ever discussed merging together. This is not the first time. Lessons learned, they have merged together all different kinds of cities. They grow and they die and they merge together. But what we can't do, we will not get emotional about it. When I came in, I just made a crack, because these are my friends. We always talk. Their offices are always open to me. Yesterday, I went to see Gary Norton. I went to see Gary, because I heard you guys were going to a four-day work week, and I wanted to know about the city. Because whatever happened in East Cleveland, Whatever happened in East Cleveland affects Cleveland. Gary Norton, the mayor Gary Norton, the door is always open to me. So I hope to see him about around 11.30 a.m. We talked about that. We, we discussed Barbara about shared governance. We talked about uh, maybe EMS or firefighters have to work together and, uh, and share resources. We talked about all these kind of things. That's very important. This is another issue. I'm going to yield to uh, Keith real quick, Sean, to this deal. Um, here's another issue right here. You show me how close we are together, working together. When Hero World Hospital went under, and Hero World Hospital was sold, they never had a report. We got together people from Ward 9, as well as Glenville and East Cleveland, and we fought to try to save that hospital. It really shouldn't have been sold. It, it, it took the tax dollars. I, I went to see Gary about it. I, you know, I, I, I did those kind of things. But let me say this. When you ask us questions, when you ask us questions, before I give us a sum, no question is a dumb question. No question is a dumb question. I'm going to tell you this right now. A lot of politicians would not tell you. You are, you are the true owners of government. You are the bosses of government. You're my boss, you're Sam Williams' boss, you're my wife Yvonne's boss, uh, Barbara's boss, Nate, Nate boss, the judge over here, we always talk boss. You're all of our bosses. So we, before you even talk about merging or anything like that, what made me mad, you know this Councilman Cowboy did not say anything. You know why you say anything? You know why you say anything, Kevin? Because you are the true owners of government. And I need to listen from you. And you need to talk about the price of government. You need to talk about the chuck holes and how come they're not being on uh, um, the streets are being resurfaced. You want to know if Cleveland and East Cleveland merge where the police come when you call them. You want to know what EMS picks pick you up when you need help. You want to know what some of the houses be knocked down and cleaned up. That tax dollars come out of your pockets. It is your money. So other people weren't asking you. So we, Robert, the agenda is for us to listen to our bosses. Is that right, Will? That's the agenda today, to listen to you. Because you are the true owners of government. And if money can come out of your pocket, you have the right to ask questions. You have the right to be part. And when we sit down, the things that you told us, we're able to internalize them and use it. I tell you this. When it's around election time, don't they come, don't be come knocking on your door? You know, you always say that. I'm about to, I'm about to say You know, we always come knocking on your door. We right, we always come knocking on your door. So we need to be there all the time. Now tell you, you want to say a word real quick? I'm going to give you and Sandra, and then we got to get out of business.